In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from St Paul's letter to the Hebrews. At various times in the past, and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his Son, the Son that he has appointed to inherit everything, and through whom he made everything there is. He is the radiant light of God's glory and the perfect copy of his nature, sustaining the universe by his powerful command. And now that he has destroyed sin, he has gone to take his place in heaven at the right hand of divine majesty. So he is now as far above the angels as the title which he has inherited is higher than their own name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we have celebrated the baptism of Jesus, we enter into ordinary time in the church, although it won't be long before Lent starts. And during ordinary time, we hear in the readings and the gospels of Jesus's life and ministry, the time he spent teaching and the time he spent with his friends. In our reading today, St. Paul reminded us that God is always speaking to us, sometimes in ways we don't expect. He also emphasizes that everything Jesus said had great power. So when we hear the words of Jesus in the gospel say, do not be afraid, do not worry about tomorrow, give to everyone who asks of you, ask and it will be given to you. I am the way, the truth and the life. These words are true, alive and active, speaking directly to us. God is always speaking to us, but are we really listening? Are we making space and silence for God to be heard? Take some time today just to be silent and still. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son Jesus into the world to proclaim your word, your gospel of truth, love and forgiveness. We pray that we will listen to you speak to us and seek to hear your voice. May your word, spoken through the scriptures, Inspire each of us and lead us closer to your heart. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.